One of the readers on the Bequam blog asked if you could sort a crosstab based on a parameter. And you can. It involves some Java code. But if you look at this crosstab here, I have a set of columns uh, called department order. And I can specify whether I want them ordered in ascending order, F through M. Refreshing it, I can alternatively select descending. And it is M through F. Now to do this, I'm using the Java programming language. So in my top level definition, I set the language to Java. I provide a parameter to the main report. This one's called depth order param. I give it a description. The mechanism that I use to communicate the parameter with the crosstab is I use a variable. I originally tried a crosstab parameter, but it didn't seem to be available. Uh, when I went to make the call for the comparison, as you'll see later. So I have a variable called depth order var, and it is initialized with depth order param. Within the cross tab, there's a column department up at the top. And I'm working with the column group department here. Again, there's no parameters for um, this cross tab is coming from a var. And I use a comparator expression. Now the comparator expression invokes my Java class, which I'll mention and describe at the end of the video. Uh, the source code and the class file will be put up on one of the Bequam websites. And it's using this comparator that I've written. And I'm using the variable to provide it with a yes or no value, a Boolean value. If it's true, it will be an ascending sort. And if it's false, it'll be a descending sort. And this is the action that I showed at the start of the video. We're selecting a ASC would produce the sort of the department names um, alphabetical. And DESC would reverse that. I'm going to show a little bit of the Java code behind how to write a custom comparator. In the example of the crosstab parameter, I'm passing a true or false value that's extracted from my report's parameter function. This small demo here is showing two different call variants. Now the class that I'm using, um, when I run this as a, a test program, you'll see a list that starts out sorted. I've put it in uh, insertion order. Uh, it's reversed for this invocation here, and it's in the proper order for the final invocation. Uh, dinosaur comparator, that's a class that extends a um, comparable, is, is the um, object that it's based on. And that can vary uh, depending on your Jasper reports uh, class. So for example, this is something that will work with an integer, as in the case of um, my demo for dinosaur main. If I go back to the Jasper report, you'll see that there's a string here. And when I call in dinosaur comparator string, um, I provide the parameter. Now, if you're intimidated at all by generics so or that's not familiar, uh, this isn't your background, uh, you can leave this whole thing off and, and it'll, it'll work. It won't be type safe, but in Jasper reports, that's kind of a minor point. And I implement the comparator. There's some generics work over here to make sure that I don't get any uh, compile time errors. But I'm applying a um, one set of logic depending on whether or not that ascending flag is set, and another set if it's not. Um, if anything is passed in, going back to the Jasper reports, if anything's passed in, like say a null or something, uh, it's going to default to descending. And I can, you can change this accordingly if you want the default to be ascending. Oops.